Hi guys, I'm Dr. Shiny Face, and today we're playing Kerbal Space Program. But before that... Warning, this program contains coarse humor and a sense of language that some people might not share. Viewer discretion is advised. But I bet that just makes you want to watch it even more. Alright. Back with some Kerbal Space for your face. And for the human race. Hey, the music's back. That's something. All right. What, if anything, are we going to do? Um, well, we were doing these, so I might as well continue that. We wanted... I can get that easy. Um, before we do anything else. And then we want to do the Minimus thing. Which is, uh, well, that'll be interesting anyway. So, let's see what we got so far. Right, we got the commsat. We did that last episode. I was going to do this. And I got to kind of extend the rest of these solar panels. Whoops. And these antennae, I suppose. Antennas. There we go. All right. That looks good. Uh, back to Space Center, I guess. I should have gone to the tracking station for... Whatever. Never mind. Never mind. Be good. In the neighborhood. Just like we should. So we got this guy. That's just great. What kind of spacecraft? Holy crapping on a pancake there, okay. Uh, we just need more Kerbals. Oh shit, we need another scientist? Are you joking me? You're joking, Hadoken. Come on. So we need to bring a second scientist and we have one, two, I think that's three, isn't it? Yeah, one, two, three, we just need another two crew. Hey, there's something on the surface, cool. Yeah. So we need another scientist and we need another two crew. I think we can do that. So we'll just expand upon that design, the design which is just great. I've invented yet another character for the 404 guy and friends menagerie. And that is... Dr. Shiny Face. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm Dr. Shiny Face. You might have heard him at the, uh... Start of the episode. Holy shit. Frechtach. Lastin Schrutach. Lasnyarach. We'll do a new one. Um... Oh, this is a good one. We'll do this, all right? So this will kill two birds with one stone, assuming we have a scientist. Shit, we don't. Okay. We need a scientist, and then we can do this thing. I was going to do something. Was it coupling? No, it was structural. There it is. This way... Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. We can put on this guy. That looks so cool, doesn't it? It doesn't. But it does at the same time. Uh, we'll put on some of this stuff. Which, it still annoys me. They really should allow you to adjust your attitude without using RCS, even if you have RCS enabled. It's just not nice. Um, I just realized, how am I going to couple these... Right, we got these couplers here. These got to attach to that other thing somehow, and it's not going to be through the front, obviously. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? Okay, we'll do this. Oops. We'll do two of these. 
going off the side, right? It is important to have some mass there, I've discovered. It's, uh... If you don't have any kind of mass there, it just really screws with things. It's, um... I've had it before where the whole thing just becomes unstable and just goes crazy. Alright, that'll work. That'll work. We'll need to, uh, of course... Strengthen it a little bit. Alright, that'll work. Alright, this is part of my payload uh, advantage. We'll put some junk in the trunk there. Um, what are we going to put? Put a Sciency Junior. Actually, that's all we need. Oh, we need batteries. There's no room for batteries anymore. Um, just chuck it full of these things then. Perfect. Actually, I can, do, I can do two layers of those. That'd be better. Two layers of batteries. What was the solar array? I had the big solar panels on there, didn't I? So then big solar panels here would be kind of unnecessary. We'll do a couple of small ones just to keep it, uh, keep it kosh. Not kosher, but kosh. It's lesser than, all right, that'll work, mostly. How heavy is this thing? Bot. This thing is five tons. That is going to take a lot of fuel. That's its name. That is going to take a crap ton of fuel. Um, I guess before we do that, we should hire a new scientist. Now... Whoops, that's not the place. There it is. Now I've decided to be an equal opportunities employer. So what that means is uh, equal opportunity employer. Uh, from what I've determined, it means that you select against any male candidates in order to make things equal opportunity. Why that's equal, I do not know. Hello, Alex. Things are going good. I've invented a new character for my streams. His name is Dr. Shinyface. He's going to make an appearance on the YouTube channel today as Dr. Shinyface in the uh, Penumbra playthrough. I guess it's not as important as I seem to think it is. But, um, crap, where were we? We were going to put a scientist person in here. So get rid of these guys. Put in the scientist. So that'll complete the rest of that mission. Uh, all we need to do now is get it to Minimus. And as is true to 404 Forum, 404 Forum. We're just gonna friggin' hammer this thing. Um, some coupling. That ought to work. The theory is, if you bring enough fuel with you, you'll never run out. You may never get to your destination, but at least you'll have enough fuel. Uh, let's see, here we go. All right. And if I put four of these on, it's going to be more than 100,000. Look at that. But it's going to go everywhere. This is 5,300. That's not as bad. Actually, yeah, you know what? I can get rid of this thing. It's not necessary. This is sufficient. 79,000 to fly this piece of crap. Uh, da -da -do, there's that. There's used to be... I think I bought it on the last go, didn't I? 
this thing. Oh, that has to be attached to the tip. Whoa! What the hell? That looks weird. Is there something wrong with that? I don't think that looks right. Oh, well. Uh, two. We need strength. All right. Now, something tells me that this is not going to work. Oops. But there's only one way to find out, I suppose. So we're going to go to Minimus. We're going to complete the Minimus Orbital Space Station. And then we're going to... We're going to drop a Kerbal onto the surface of Minimus, just using their RCS, and see if they survive. Because I actually I want to see if that happens. Uh, so, away we go. Already I can tell this isn't going to work. It's, uh... It might not get orbit. I'm kind of not sure on that. This top bit weighs five tons, which is significantly more than what I likely need. What is this curb net? What does this do? I really want to know what this does, because I feel like it might be useful. This is this is going. There's the building. I'm so glad that I put a flag on that. I climbed to the top of the building, I put a flag on the top of it. And now every time I go to space, it's like the building is waving high. Although it's not. Um My foot is bleeding. That's unfortunate. You know when sometimes it's like... It's like your toenail kinda cracks in the middle and then grows into the skin and stuff starts bleeding? Oh, shit. Huh, I had no idea. Let's go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty significant. Hold on, will this get to Minimus on its own? Minimus is right there. Sure, we'll do that. And Minimus is at a good angle. For just a straight shot. Just straight fling it out there and... That's a great position. Can we take any observations? We can, they're nearly worthless though. Let's reset that. Alright. Now begins the long journey. Why did I put the RCS on? Wait a minute. This doesn't have any RCS. Oh, this has 30 monopropellant. Where's that being stored? But I didn't put those on. Ah. Oh well. Clearly I wasn't thinking about the big picture. How's this doing? Okay. So we're looking at close to a million. Okay. We might possibly have enough uh, enough fuel for this. But we're not going to have as much as I would like. Right, so this is the new orbital space station around Minimus that we're building. This is going to check off 
this mission, uh, as well as the second mission, possibly this as well, depending on how ambitious I am. Hello, hello. I'm Dr. Shiny Pigs. I've been laughing about that all day. Like, literally the entire day, I've just been... I created the Dr. Shiny Face character. I made a video for him that's going to go live at 4 p.m. And, uh... I've just been laughing about it all day. It's like, it's, uh... It's almost a joke. Well, you'll see when the video releases. It's a five-second clip of him just introducing himself. But it's like... It's Dr. Shiny Face. The story behind it was I was playing Penumbra and uh, this, you know, you come across this deceased body that's sitting there. Its eyes are wide. Its eyes are like his eyes are open. And he's just sitting there like he's chilling. I'm just like, I mean, they, they could have worked a little bit harder on him maybe or something. I don't know. But it wasn't convincing. So, uh... I gave him a nickname. I called him Dr. Shiny Face. All right, we are going to be way off from the target. Uh, wow, we are actually going to be way under the target, aren't we? I can probably budge that. No, 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 no. What did I just set as a target? Not that. Come on, let me do this. There we go. There we go. All right. No, not the commsat. Add a maneuver. Thank you. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Oop. Uh, well, how close are we? We are. Yeah, we're off by about 45 degrees. Uh, it looked a lot closer. This budged over about 45 degrees during this uh, whole thing. So that that's kind of what happened there. I do need to budge this down a little bit, so I might just do that anyway. That's a 10 second burn. Sure, we can do that. I like this. That little attachment is so OP. It's this thing, this thing on the front. It's way OP because it literally has every single one of these and you can put it on any spacecraft. I do not expect this to be a very long episode. And uh, starting next week, I believe, I'm going to be doing uh, going to be doing classes in full time. So that's going to be interfere on with the channel. Of course, the uh, weekend scheduled streams are still going to go as expected. I think so. That should be reasonable. Now, can I adjust this? If I budge this out a little... I'm not targeting the moon. I'm not targeting the moon. Come on, I want to set a maneuver. If I budge this out, it will... You know, do that. Now, whether or not I want it to go that way is another question. I should budge this up. Right? Because then... Okay, now we're colliding. Are we? Oh, 14,000. That's beautiful. Budget over that way. Where are we at? 113. That's exactly where we wanted to be. Oh, not in the ground. All right, so 38. How is that? That is... Ooh, that is close. All right. Let me just focus view on minimus so that I can make sure that's what I want. Okay, not quite. But very close. That is very well placed. I get the MVP award on that. Um, all right, right there. Right there. That's perfect. Oh, not there. No, no, no. I had it. And I thought I could budget over a little better. I can. Come on. No, 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 not even close. All right, that's going to have to be good enough. Uh, yeah, I think that works. So, one second burn, point ourselves towards it. This, we can't auto warp. 
Come on, let me warp to the next maneuver. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the easy way to get to Minimus. Is uh, you just overshoot it, and then when you're coming back, it's like Minimus barely weighs anything or barely has any mass to it. So you can pretty much just go however far out you want, and uh, obtaining a stable orbit around Minimus is pretty easy. The more massive it is, the more difficult it is to get a stable orbit. Oh, we overshot. There we go. Bring her back. Just a little bit. My friend. Here we go. We're underground. We're overground. Perfect. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? Oh. What? Oh. Oh no, we don't have an antenna on this thing. And we're expecting this person to know what they're doing. Oh shit. What are you doing? Oh, that's even worse. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. That's not the most of our worries though. Um... Bring it in a little bit. Yeah, good enough. It won't let me delete the maneuver. Oh, there we go. Nope. It will not let me delete the maneuver because we don't have the, um... As a result, we can't auto-warp. Oh. We can't, yeah, we can't do auto warp because it's got a maneuver. Oh, wait, no, nope. just great. Yeah, that's my attitude right now. Just great, you know? Just friggin' great. We can't. We got a person on board, but they're incompetent. So that's just great. I don't even know where the hell it is. It's way. It's got a ways to go. We're going to have to eyeball it, I guess. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just great there. That's just great. Yeah. Yeah, that's just great. Yeah. It's all way out there. Going to get to Minimus. Yeah, just great. Never mind the fact that we forgot to put an antenna on. And so we're not allowed to delete that control node that we set earlier. Which is now useless to us. For some reason, this wants us to adjust our orbit by 21.4 meters per second in a given direction. I am not going to do that. Alright, let's cancel the warp. Let's see if it'll let us do anything now. Oh, it will. Awesome. It won't let me delete the control node, but it'll let me warp, which is nice. And there's our target, so... Yeah, what happens if I add? Oh, nothing. Okay. Let's warp there. What the hell? Say what? It's warping one times. Oh, you are trying to piss me off, aren't you? I can tell. Curable space. Why you do this to me? You do not like. Why? I never do this to you, except the uh, 20 or 30 times I did. Alright, let's see here. Brace, alright. Not where we want to be, but pretty close. Alright, good enough, right there, right there. Alright, let's uh, bring ourselves into stable orbit now. See what I mean? It's absolutely simple. We're far enough away from the surface of Kerbin. And we're close enough. 
to the surface of Minimus, because Minimus barely has any mass. And so being this far out, we can adjust our orbit like super easy. Look at this thing going crazy. All right. So we're going to have to go blind on this. We won't know how much adjustment is required. We do know that just great has got to catch up with us. Uh, that's going to be our target, by the way. That's the targeted intersection one, and that's where we're going to be. So I guess let's... Oh, wait, we can't... Oh, this is going to be annoying. Oh, we can't warp. Well, we'll wait for him to catch up. There's two. He's getting closer. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Nope. That gives me an idea, though. Check it. Whoa. What was that? Hill cold? Why does that never play the full length of time? I'm starting to get suspicious of Streamlabs. I think they're messing with me. This is going to be 18 kilometers? Wow. That's pretty good. Okay, let's just... Can we warp there now? All right, we can warp again. We're good. We are good. All right. That's going to be an 18 kilometer separation. We've got plenty of fuel. Let's go target view. Um, point at target. All right. Oh, we are already heading towards the target. Okay. Well, let's uh, see how close we get. Eh, doing pretty good so far. All right, this is probably going to miss by a fairly wide margin. At the same time, it's doing pretty good. That's going to be at 25 kilometers. Oh, this is going to be where it's closest. And then it's just going to diverge. Does that orbit look off to you? That looks oddly shaped. All right, so wherever they intersect, uh, 11, 5, 4, that's it, that's it. We're close enough anyway. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. Hold on. Turn on the RCS. The RCS is doing nothing. Okay, turn off the RCS. We'll go retrograde to target. And we'll just kill our relative velocity for a quick second here. All right. So there we are, 11.2. Wow, this is messed up. Um, all right, now we'll point at the target and we'll just gun it. And we'll bring it over this way a little. All right. 4.9 kilometers, that's close. I bet we can get closer. Oh, that's five. Just tune it very carefully here. Three, seven, six, five, four, three. Hey, where'd you go? Come on. All right, we're within 2K. I really want this to work. Oh, I just blew all my mono propellant. Well, we'll get within two kilometers and then we'll kill our relative velocity and then we'll see how precise we can be by hammering on the engine, which if we hammer on the engine enough times. So, well, it's disappeared. How much does this produce? This is like 
Well, I don't remember the numbers. I'm not going to try it out now. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll get within two kilometers then. We'll see what happens. This is promising to shape up very poorly because I've just wasted the mono propellant, which I didn't even know I had. All right, this is good. This is doing good. This is doing good. We're going to be at one kilometer separation. We're going to want to kill our relative velocity now because that number is only going to increase. Well, it's still decreasing a little. Okay, now it's going to increase. All right. Closest at point 8. Closest to point 0.9. We're more or less there. This is going to be the weirdest rendezvous ever. Especially with the whole lack of any RCS and control. Separation point 0.1. I like that. Because we have absolutely no control and we have absolutely no RCS. It's anyone's guess whether we'll actually hit. I'm thinking I'll have to go to the space station and adjust the space station to rendezvous with this part that I sent up. Because normally you wouldn't do that. All right. We're looking for that magic 100 meters. There we go. We're pretty close. Pretty close, but not close enough. All right, that's about as close as we're going to get. A little retrograde. We're going to stop ourselves now. Very carefully. All right. All right, things are looking good. Oh, this is going to be really, really rough. Okay, I think my best bet would be to go for this one. Let's just switch over there real quick. So, does this have monopropellant? This does, 157. Uh, I can dump this thing, I don't need it. So I'm thinking I might try going for this thing, because if I go for these, I'm going to knock off the solar panels uh, pretty easily. Or I could go for this hatch. This hatch just looks weird though, and there's a antenna there, so this is the best one to go for. Uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. All right. Come on, target. There we go. That's our target. Um, I guess we can point at the target. As for what I'm going to hit that target with, I don't know yet. But it's going to be interesting, probably. Oh, let's keep... We'll keep pointed in that direction. We're going to try and aim to go over top by just a little bit there. So, yeah. Just to recap, in my infinite wisdom, I forgot to bring monopropellant. And the monopropellant I did bring, I just wasted. So... We are going to attempt to rendezvous these two spacecraft to join them at these docking ports using nothing but this monster of a freaking engine. Holy crap. In the hopes that maybe we'll be successful. Chances are we won't, but it'll be fun to watch. All right. So we're gonna be flying right over top of this butter right here. Right as we're going over top, we're going to stop ourselves. And hopefully, maybe, maybe something good will happen. I don't know. Okay, we're pretty close, pretty close. Not close enough. Now we are. All right. That was too far. But decent. Decent enough. I'll give myself that. Let's point at this thing. And we'll hammer it on full blast and see if it works. No? Do that. Oh, geez. No, nope. we'll go like that. All right. Uh, we need to adjust these so that this will... No. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. If that much wasn't obvious, then I don't know what was. Ah, 
Okay. All right. Looking actually quite terrible. But... Oh, quick. Quick. This one's got RCS. Eh. But it doesn't have... Why isn't it working? No, you're going to crash. Oh. Well, that was nearly a problem. Why won't I... Why doesn't this one control? Not connect... Oh, you're not in the control seat, you... Go. Go there. Jeez. All right. Control from here. I can't believe you just did that. Nerferrg. All right. Let's rotate this thing. Uh, we want to be... It's not controlling. You're not moving it. What, are we out of electricity or something? What are you doing? Not, no, there's no... Wait. Did I break something? Okay, so we've got a spacecraft. We've got no controls. We've got somebody in the control seat. There is a pilot. He's there. Command state. No pilot. I don't care. There's a person in there. Isn't it? Okay. This is weird. Guys, am I doing something wrong? Somehow we managed to fly here. Alright. Well. How far away are we from having any kind of contact with Kerbin? We've got to be at least over here. Uh, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Well, let's keep this guy closer. Right? We'll just have to warp until we have signal. Which is not going to be good. Okay, there we go. We got signal. We got signal. Let's go back here. This is the important one. This is the one that I can still control. Right, and we're controlling from here. All right. Let's point towards this buddy. Come on, you can do it. All right, we're roughly in the right direction. Here I was thinking we were going to have to use that monster of an engine to, uh, to adjust our position. We'll do it just fine with this. Alright, we're moving to the side a little bit. Let's adjust that. Alright, we're getting pretty close there. Pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, ouch. Oh, dear. What the hell just happened? What in the goddamn... Hold on. What just happened? What the hell was that? Okay, first of all, retract these solar panels. I don't want them broken. Did you see that? It just slips out to the side. What was that? What kind of janky physics... Like... Realistically, that uh, made no sense. Come on, get it this time. You're way off. the hell's going on? Oh, jeez. Turn off the RCS. You're just going to waste it. I really... You know what? This pisses me off every single time. That Just waste RCS. It just friggin' blows the crap into space. Because it thinks I'm trying to adjust attitude using the RCS. I'm not. 
RCS is for adjusting my translation, not for adjusting my rotation. Rotation is done with the electrical gears that I installed up here. So why on earth is it trying to use RCS to adjust? Ugh. It is just so poorly thought out. Whoever designed that aspect really does not understand the whole concept of RCS, right? Like, I mean, first of all, it's a video game, so that kind of does make sense. But I mean, realistically, what it's used for, what it's attempting to convey the idea of is very poorly represented. Or maybe I'm just too critical. Uh, move it over a little. We just gotta get this. Watch what's gonna happen. This physics is gonna make absolutely bollocks all sense. Look at that. Did you see how that bounced off there? Um, that's... Wow, look at that relative velocity. I mean, can we appreciate that for just a moment? The relative velocity that occurred from a collision, there's more energy now than when the collision occurred. This has higher kinetic energy now. So we've just circumvented the laws of physics, or the laws of thermodynamics, by creating energy from nothing. So, I mean, that's impressive. The fact that this game allows you to create energy out of nothing. I am thoroughly impressed. If not a little pissed off. You can kind of tell from my tone, it's more likely pissed off than anything. Alright. Makasete kudasai. I will do this, and we will see. All right. Oh boy. Okay. 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 All right. Don't want to do this again. Don't want to have to. Shouldn't have to because the physics messed up. But I'm going to. All right. Head towards it. Warp towards it. I don't care. Getting this done, getting it done now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, 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 go this way. Just a little bit, a little bit. Come on, come on, you can do this. No. What is it? What is this? What you doing to me, boy? Oh god, this this is just a nightmare. Ugh. I should not have to do this as many times as I have to. I am just oh my god. The headaches. I call them Kerbal Space Headaches. Because it's exactly what they are. Look at this isn't even aligned. What was I thinking? I should just pierce the damn thing. Uh, we can't go... Anti-grade. Hold on. Point ourselves this way. We gotta stop. Alright. We're gonna control from here now. Just so we can point ourselves towards the target. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to control from here again. Uh, turn that off. No, turn that on. Keep it on. What are you doing? Keep this pointed at the target. Okay, good enough. I don't care. Uh, this one. Controlling from there. Point that at the target. Now they're both pointing at each other. 
I only have 116 mono propellant left on this one. So please do not let me down or I will break something. Something serious. All right, here we go. Thank you. All right, relative velocity of not 0.1 meters per second. If the rebound velocity, if the target velocity is anything more than 0.1 after the collision, then we know that something stupid has happened. So let's watch. Keep ourselves pointed. Now, since I have said that, it's going to work. Because I've just complained about a game mechanic. Come on, come on, baby. Hey, you're way off. Thank you. All right, so yeah, now this time it works approximately the way that it should. Um, all right, zero. What do we need to do? We need to do forwards just a touch. There's a touch there. Come on, you. No. No. Look at that. Point four? What are you talking about? What the hell is that? Point at the target, first of all. That's your job. You had one job. Look at how fast. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, why? Not point four, and this thing just freaking rockets away. That is complete bell end bollocks right there. Clearly, conservation of momentum is not a thing. Clearly, conservation of energy is not a thing. Because even in a perfectly elastic collision, energy is conserved. And in this case, we have seen conclusively that Kerbal Space Program disagrees with that. It's a very fundamental principle in physics, mechanics, just about... Hey, what are you doing? Are you rotating? You should not be. Look at you, you disgrace. No! Get back there! You get back here, you son of a... Oh, you... Every time I do it, it just tries to... Okay, that's what it's doing. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, it's just holding a position is what it's doing. It's not actually... I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, boy. And I don't like it. Come on. Come on, get in there. See what I mean about the RCS, though? Isn't that the most annoying bollocks you've ever seen? It's not something that should even happen. That's... Okay, why are you not... Are you out of electricity? You've got electricity. Why are you not stabilized pointing towards this look at you two you're way off hold on hold on hold on a second why are you not pointing towards the target you should be it's right there point this way I'm telling you I know what I'm doing you don't clearly given the uh, lack of any laws of physics Come on, don't bounce. Come on. Come on, come on. You're literally there. You are literally... Not to extend a dead meme, you are literally... Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and now it's unstable. Look, look at how unstable that is. Look, it's gonna rip it apart again. I gotta turn off stability assist. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> just why? 
Oh, fast forward it just that stabilizes it because it does. Oh my god, okay. Alright, this is sexual sounds with the 404 guy. No, it's oh my god, that's just oh that was the most frustrating thing ever. Did we complete the mission? Yes. Thank you. About freaking time, man. It's about freaking time, man. Let's get a crew report, man. Oh, man. We can't use that, man. Let's transfer the crew, man. All right, let's go. Go into there. Don't, don't anger me. You don't want to anger me right now. You, go into there. Get doing your science-y thing. How much science do we have? We have 33 science. That's not enough. You two are now slave laborers. Keep working. I will observe materials bay for you so you will have more science. 625. That's pretty damn good. Uh, what else we have? We have crew reports. Well, whatever. Don't we have crew reports? Crew report? There's no crew in the cockpit. This one. Can I review report? Can I send it? Why can't I send it to the lab? Okay, we'll transmit it. Good enough. Close that. Okay. Alright. Why? Are we full of data or something? Do we not have room? Zero experiments stored. Zero experiment. Why? Um, hmm. Okay, apparently we cannot send data to the lab. Let's keep the experiment then. Right? Does it... Okay. Alright, review. Why can't we send it here? Is this thing full? Oh, don't discard the data. I don't want to dis... Okay, keep it. What are we... Okay, we're not anywhere near full of data. Okay. Okay. Well... It is what it is, I suppose. Uh, we have plenty of worthwhile data which we are not allowed to use. Anyway, this has been the most stressful experience in my days. So, I'm the 404Guy, 7HE404GUY. Sometime today around 4pm on my YouTube channel, we will be posting a 4 second video clip introducing Dr. Shiny Faye. Hello, hello, I'm Dr. Shiny Face. Anyway, that's all for this episode. I have no words. I mean, conservation of momentum. Conservation of energy. Those are the only words I have to describe this episode. So the squad people, you guys need to work on that. If energy is created from nothing, you done goofed. I'm the 404 guy, 7HE404GUI. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the YouTube or the archived clips or whatever, or do whatever you want to do. Just have fun. I'm the 404 guy, 7HE404GUI. Have a great day. YouTube stream died so quickly. What's wrong with YouTube, I wonder? At least Colonel Sanders dropped by. Oh. It would appear as though my internet connection died at some point. Or maybe it didn't, I wonder. It's weird. Alright, well... Anyway.